Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bingo's Genius Show. Bangle Genius here, Buffalo. I'm sorry we had to take it to you. We put the smack down on the Buffalo Bills on Sunday Night Football. Ouch! Josh Allen got his first loss, and what do you know? Bengals get their first Sunday Night win. Mm. Josh Allen is a talent, no doubt about it, but it looks like he's great at checkers, and old Joe Burr is great at chess. He just outplayed the guy. Uh, you can see every time that these teams have met that the Bills just look a little step behind. The stadium, Stripe Stadium, was fantastic. I'm not 100% certain who gets the credit for that. I think it's them Blackburn Angels, Katie's daughters. They have really brought some spunk and some dazzle to this here team. And it just looked awesome. It looked awesome on TV, man. It, the black jerseys looked crisp. And the double tight ends, that was a nice twist. I wasn't expecting that. I lost my same game parlay so quick. First drive, that was over. And Drew Sample, the longest touchdown of his career, just when you thought the guy was never be heard from again, he pops up. So, And I still love Hudson. I think eventually he will be the starter this year. So that's something to pay attention to. But just to see that the way they could switch it up, move things around that was totally unexpected they they weren't ready for it they marched right down the field and seeing a couple tight ends get touchdown passes nice cam taylor Britt once again that guy is a legit playmaking stud and he will be getting extended sooner rather than later jermaine pratt great job he punched that ball out looked like marvin Hagler out there smacked it out of the uh, the receiver's hands that was fantastic or actually the tight end Mwah. Beautiful, an amazing stretch by the Bengals. Great job. Seahawks, 49ers, Buffalo all in a row. And no one thought it was going to happen when they saw old peg leg Joe earlier in the season. And uh, people threw dirt on him a little too quick. And it's just so great to see him back. Moving, shaking, dropping dimes. It sucks, though, that Chase got hurt on that play you know, hopefully some stretches, maybe some cryotherapy. Who knows? Hopefully Chase is back and ready to go this week. I have a four-game betting streak on the Bengals right now that I've won. And I don't think I'm going to bet on this week. I still think the Bengals are going to win this game, but Houston is dangerous. You saw the numbers Stroud put up. The guy set the record for the most yards passing ever by a rookie quarterback. And all time... The Bengals have a losing record against Houston. We're 5-8, and eight, and it's just a perfect, perfect trap game. Trap game alert. We got Baltimore the week after on Thursday morning and Thursday night. So this is, we're coming off three games in a row that were supposed to be tough, that were tough. Tough physical games, Sunday night. So there's going to be a little bit of a letdown and a little bit of looking ahead. So it is going to be a hard one. Now, historically, these kind of games gave the Bengals problems, especially in the Marvin Lewis era, the Andy Dalton era. These are the kind of games you'd be like, how, how do we lose this one? There's some games with the Cardinals that jump out to me, Houston Texans. It's just the games where it's like, ah, we shouldn't lose this game, and then all of a sudden we got bit. But the one thing that's different these days is our boy. Joe Burrow, and the guy has been locked in, and they talked about something on Sunday night that I thought was really a great lesson for all young quarterbacks out there. Listen up, kids, youngsters who want to be a quarterback. Joe Burrow, they said, goes to bed at 8 o'clock at night. Now, that seems darn near impossible. That shows so much dedication to your craft, and it shows a level of focus and fortitude he's like hey you're giving me a quarter of a billion dollars the least i can do is go to bed at eight o'clock and that should be applauded i i love seeing joe when he does get a night out here and there i can't think of if i've seen him out during a game week though and in the off season i don't see him on too many cruises getting uh that fancy uh nfl playbook booty coaching that I saw T. Higgins and Jamar Chase getting on the seven C's uh, over last summer. But he's just really just a dedicated quarterback, and we're lucky to have him in Cincinnati. So that is going to be definitely something to watch out for, that trap game. 
Also this weekend, we got to root for teams that we hate. We need Cleveland to beat Baltimore and the 49ers to beat Jacksonville. I cannot picture Jacksonville beating the 49ers this week. 49ers are a loaded, really talented team. And I'm not sure I haven't looked at their injury report yet, but if they get Trent Williams back, it's a must win for those guys. You can't win four, lose four games straight. They're not going to lose to Jacksonville. If Jacksonville wins that game, that will be impressive. But right now, if the playoffs ended today, take a look here. Chiefs would be the number one seed, and the Bengals would play Baltimore. So I fully expect Baltimore to tank to get out of this position because there's no team they want to see less than the Cincinnati Bengals in the first round of the playoffs. But what I'm eyeballing, baby, is that first round bye, and the Bengals have their future in their own hands. They went out and they got it. It's a mathematical certainty. If the Bengals win the rest of their games, they will have the number one seed in the AFC. We play them all. We play all the good teams and that's how I'd like it no other way because we're going to take them out one at a time, but one week at a time. So it's up to you next Houston Texans. So, all right. Be sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, Bengal Genius. I'm also on TikTok, Bengal Genius. Something with the kids. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Who did? Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bengal Genius Show.